Hey guys, so today I am showing you Spintronics. So my friend backed this, I have no idea what it was at first, and then he showed me, and it's a puzzle building game. It's actually kind of neat. So this is a core box brought to us by Upper Story. I actually went on their webpage. They are taking pre-orders now. It's uh, May of next year, and it's kind of pricey. But you do get a lot of really cool components with it. And it's basically, you know, teaching basic electronics, but with gears. So very old timey. Box are already been open, so it's not really a true unboxing. But we have this Act 1, and it gives you the table of contents. It's actually a really nice book. There is a story about a little girl, apparently, learning to build stuff for her town. And it goes through the basic concepts, mechanical gears. It's actually a really cool book, and there are solutions in the back right here. So, but, And it's bound, so at least flat and neat. These boards are really cool because they're magnetic, so you can move it around. So here, we get what, uh, three of these, and everything is gear driven. You get a lot of these links. And unsnap it and hook it around. Or you can just be lazy like what I would do with normal gears and chains on a magnet and just drag it across until it's hot. And we have here the battery. I think that's kind of weird, but uh, my friend says that's a safety design to keep it from screwing itself. It's a really cool concept. A lot of puzzle stuff. These actually lock together. We have these little locking pieces. So let's build a simple circuit. All right, so here we have what's actually on the box. I'm not exactly sure what it's supposed to be doing, because, uh, but we've charged our battery, pulled out the string. And there we go with that, and then we'll lock that. And then we uh, release the switch. It's not very exciting, I'm not exactly sure. I didn't, I didn't actually build anything, I just copied the box. But it is kind of working. Might be too much resistant. But it's a really neat idea for a toy, and it's a puzzle. It's not really too much in the game category. But you know, the interesting thing with all these parts, and with uh, the Act 2 box that we're going to get to next, you can build some really complex circuitry. So, uh, yeah, this is the game. I guess it's a game. It's more of a puzzle thing type STEM thing. It's one player. It's a logic puzzle. But I think it's a really good idea. I think the age of eight, that's uh, pretty early. But I do like the idea that making more design puzzle games like this, especially if you have a child or you yourself are a hobbyist and you just want to see things like this. It's actually a really cool idea. And, you know, there's something really cool about Gears. I, I don't know what it is, but it's always nice watching Gears go into motion. Because it's neat. But if you know someone that's really into, uh, I guess, watching gears, mechanisms, circuitry, it's actually a really cool thing to watch and play with. But let's get to the other box. So, we uh, copied this, and here it is. And here's one of the base issues of this product. Notice how it doesn't quite work right, but if you hold down and push, so there's a limitation with tension on these chains, and it's kind of annoying to, it's also really frustrating if you were a kid, and you're like, well, I did everything right, but it doesn't seem to work, but there is a issue with uh, slack. Slack is a real issue, the magnetic bases. And again, you can see that just pushing down there, there's a lot of tension pushing up. So the system actually works if we put enough weight and make it flat and put enough tension. So that's something to put in. But 
as we've looked through the book, a lot of these circuits aren't super big, complex Rube Goldberg machines. I just thought it'd be cool to get them to work. But yeah, that's a little disappointing. I still like the concept of the idea, and I, I think it's a great thing for rudimentary, very basic circuit building. But I'm not expecting you to build your own IC right here. But other than that, that's Spintronics. And it's by Upper Story, and like I said, they got the product running right now uh, for, I guess, retail pre-sale in, in May um, this year. It's a neat system. It is very pricey, and honestly, you can buy a bunch of extra parts. They don't just have the three kits, or the two Act 1 Act 2 kits, but they also have the, the little accessory kit that comes with an extra battery, and two resistors, and a hundred more puzzles. Yeah, there's the the power pack, and literally it just comes with another battery, which is the thing in the corner over there, two resistors, 150, and this giant book. Don't know if it's worth. I mean, I guess I could open it, but that, that's really what's in the box. But, uh, yeah, it's an interesting product. And if you got that little hobbyist or do-it-yourself knack that you want to do, or you want to learn about basic circuits, I think it's a good start. It is expensive, but we've dropped a few of the products around, and honestly, we didn't mean it, but uh, we were pretty rough on some stuff, and nothing's broken. And out of the 600 links of chain, there's only two. So that's pretty good odds. Let's check out this, uh, yeah, it really is just that. Oh, they did waste plastic on these. Okay, surprisingly, these are in plastic, the others weren't. It's just this battery. Why they packed it this way? And I don't actually think there is a hundred puzzles in here. What is a nice little notepad? Challenge eleven. Okay, so it adds eleven more puzzles. Well, if you feel like adding extra batteries and playing mad scientist, and maybe you'll get this capacitor thing working. But like I said, I think the tension, the chain tension is going to be an issue. The board's not perfect. And I also think it's also part of the locking mechanism. If they lock together, it's put in tension also. So not everything is sitting perfectly flush. So it will cause some binding issues. But if you got the money and you got the time, and uh, I think it's a good product. Well, all right, guys. Take care. Thanks. Bye.